COVID-19 has spread through the world at a worrisome rate, which led the World Health Organization to declare the disease as a pandemic in March 2020. To contain the spread, multiple measures were instated worldwide, resulting in a shutdown of most services, including all non-urgent medical care. Now in most countries these containment measures are being cautiously lifted allowing a resuming of medical activity. In ophthalmology the most high-volume surgery is phaco emulsification, which has been studied as an aerosol-generating procedure, due to the use of high-frequency ultrasound energy. Therefore, it is important to improve upon previous safety measures in order to protect both the patients and medical teams. Based on the evidence provided by Darcy and collaborators, we developed a new protocol for cataract surgery in our departments. We will now present our strategy named, the double povis to us. Safety begins before the surgery takes place, in fact all our patients undergo SARS-CoV-2 testing and enter the OR wearing a surgical mask. The surgeon is seen here wearing protection goggles and the FP2 respirator. Ready to begin the surgery, a toric IOL will be implanted. So as always we strive to maintain an aseptic technique. We begin by irrigating the ocular surface with 5% povidone iodine solution and let it act during at least 15 seconds. Vovid is used to fill the anterior chamber, purging the aqueous fluid. To improve the aseptic technique, povidone iodine solution is again applied during 15 seconds. Now, we will create the main corneal incision. A 2.2 mm or lower blade size should be used. In fact, Darcy and collaborators verified that a smaller corneal incision significantly reduces aerosol production. The next step in the double povis to us workflow is to isolate the anterior chamber from the exterior ocular surface. This is done by applying methyl cellulose or dispersive OVD over the main incision, and repeated by each minute of phaco duration. The surgery proceeds using modulated ultrasound, either burst or micropulsed mode, according to surgeon preference, as both have been shown to improve ultrasound efficiency. Torsional ultrasound if available is also our mode of choice to remove quadrants, particularly in dense cataracts. With modern phaco systems, we favor the use of a microcoaxial handpiece as there is less corneal manipulation and lower surgical time. Now the intraocular lens will be implanted, if possible we always use preloaded models, as we find they contribute to improve the FACO workflow. And the case is complete. Ready for take 2? Again, our patients enter the OR wearing a surgical mask, and a nasal cannula is placed to deliver oxygen at a low flow rate. The surgeon will now perform another phaco surgery, again under topical anesthesia and following the double povis to us workflow. The first povidone iodine irrigation is performed. VD fills the anterior chamber and replaces the aqueous humor which is drained by the corneal side port. The second povidone iodine irrigation is performed. Again a 2.2 mm corneal blade is used. Notice that each 0.1 mm increase in incision width may increase the surgical wound perimeter by 0.31 mm, increasing the probability of aerosol release and less stable fluidics. A tilt and chop technique is used, now with pulsed ultrasound. But first, let's apply dispersive OVD over the main incision, again sealing the interior chamber from the exterior ocular environment. Now we proceed with FACO using low energy and pulsed ultrasound settings. Now coaxial irrigation aspiration is performed. Again, if possible a preloaded IOL is implanted. The IOL is aligned as intended and the surgery is complete. To conclude, while the risk of infection is possibly inexistent due to insignificant viral load in the aqueous, 
there is evidence of FACO generating aerosol, therefore improved safety is in order. The double POVIS 2 us strategy accomplishes four main goals leading to improved surgical safety and efficiency, therefore it is now our standard of care in cataract surgery.